hi, I'm Ella, and I'm the plant's meow. Meow. <laughs> and I'm the plant's meow, and welcome to my channel. So today is going to actually be a rather special unboxing. It's one that I was too stressed out to really kind of set up and record. I recorded me like actually doing the unboxing, but just not you facing me because it's winter, there was no heat pack involved, and I was hecka stressed. <laughs> so let me tell you, these are all variegated anthuriums, and my soul has been dying since the day I ordered these because I've been so stressed about shipping, and I know I could have waited, but delayed gratification is just not my forte, and I know I really want to go on a strict no-buy, and I feel like if I break that mentality kind of later in the season, I'm not going to be so great at keeping it. So I figured get this out the way, and hopefully I don't feel the need to get any more crazy plants. Not that there's not going to be like another unboxing, because I do have another one planned that is a wishlist plant. Not a wishlist plant for many, so don't expect anything really crazy. <laughs> so this particular seller is one that I've definitely been looking at for a while now. And his Instagram is Song Amazon, and he actually specializes in variegated plants. So if you actually look at his Instagram, he has some that are non-variegated, but he has a ton that are just so many different types and kinds, just... Oh gosh, I love the amount of films that are very good. <laughs> Just so many things. So really, this was something that I knew if I was going to order, it would be from him. I decided to place the order, and honestly enough, you know what, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm going to play this unboxing just so you can see how these plants arrived. <laughs> So this is probably honestly one of the most nerve-wracking unboxings of my entire life. <laughs> I am not even doing a typical unboxing where you see me because I would still have to get ready for this video and I just got back from work. And honestly, I need to open these right now because I've been having a lot of anxiety about how these are gonna be, especially ordering this package during winter. If I can get into this package. Dang, makeshift boxes. Okay, pretty much got it. Oh God, I even had my brother come. Like I just got off of work, but I had my brother come so they weren't out here for maybe more than 15 minutes outside. And I know variegated plants don't do great during shipping. All right, so I do see some not so great things, but on the plus side, they're alive because I was, gonna get wasted and drunk if they were dead. Wow. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna open these up just because air is very much needed. Just gonna actually cut through this. I could remove it entirely from the bag, but I'm just gonna leave it in the bag for the moment because I just wanna air it out without touching it at the moment. Cause I don't want to spread anything if anything has anything. So there's definitely some leaves here I would need to remove, but the white one itself, that doesn't look all too bad, which is great. I feel like you can hear the like freaking out in my voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like rushed home. But it looks like the white on here is just kind of holding too much moisture. It has a lot built up in there. These are just completely bad. They need to go. But this white one, which is my favorite one, is doing great. So very good with that one. I don't expect the others to be as bad. The only thing that had me worried is they were in transit for a day longer than they should have. They were shipped Monday. And today is Thursday, they should have arrived Wednesday. And that's because for some reason they had a longer customs hold in Indonesia. But that's fine, they're here. This pterodactyl looks fantastic. Really impressed with that. Oh, whoa, what is this? Some of these are bigger than I expected. This one's a giant. Oh, 
Oh, that first one is um, a capital laminum, a variegated one. Sorry, I forgot to mention that one. Wow. This one looks freaking awesome. Holy crap. So this is a variegated Clarinervium. And I'm definitely going to do better shots of these soon. I just want to kind of show you guys how they arrived, how the package is. So they're a lot more wet in there than I thought. I'm actually kind of glad he didn't put moss on the roots. I feel like, oddly enough, they wouldn't have fared as well. But this one is so much bigger like than I thought. Like, compare it to the little pterodactyl. Like, those leaves are big. This one's so much bigger than I thought, too. What? This is cool. So, there is my variegated Pedateriati Atom. And it looks so good. Ginormous. These roots are fantastic, so definitely recommend the seller. Wow, they look so good. So really, the three look fantastic. The only one with casualties is the pappy one here, but honestly, it's the one that I expected to have casualties <laughs> because it had so much variegation to it. But, oh God, it actually, this leaf fared so much better than I thought it would. And I'm like highly surprised at that. So now I'm gonna go clean these guys and pop them up. So as you can tell by that unboxing, they are all alive and for the most part, extremely healthy. The roots were great. There was nothing, no pests on the foliage. The only one that struggled at all and who's currently struggling right now is my Anthurium papulilaminum. And the reason for that is because she was the smallest of the bunch and she also contained the most variegation. And also in terms of the kinds of Anthuriums I actually got here, she was one in particular that is more sensitive than the others. So your Pedateriati Atom, you know, doesn't have as much trouble acclimating, neither does your Clarinervium. I don't really know much about the Pterodactyl, but maybe I can probably kind of group it with a Pedateriati Atom in terms of they're pretty chill. <laughs> so I'm honestly sincerely impressed with how these arrived. I have recently become an advocate for shipping them with no, like nothing on the roots. That's probably not how I would do it here if I started shipping plants because it still like scares me. But my plants have arrived healthiest when they've had no soil, no sphagnum, and no just wet tissue paper wrapped because yes, people wrap them roots in wet tissue paper and it's a freaking mess. <laughs> I just don't particularly like that method. I think it does the bare minimum. I think if they're in transit for only like a few days, this method's great. My locks of plant seller video, they all arrived fantastic and they're all still doing very well. So not in a method I would have advocated before, but now I do, it's very strange. But I'm actually gonna now show you how they are doing. I'm gonna take you to my greenhouse just so you can have a look. I thought about bringing them out here, but honestly, I don't feel like carrying them out. <laughs> I'm actually a bit tired. I've started doing another video where I'm kind of redoing the anthurium part of my plant room and it's involved moving a lot of stuff around. I'm kind of tired of moving anthuriums, so just gonna take you to them. <laughs> so my variegated anthuriums I've had for about five days now. So we take a look here. Here is the Pedateriatum, who is doing phenomenal. He looks very good. Absolutely love this. Let's see, then I have my Clarinervium. So one of the leaves actually came off. I'll insert a picture here. So when I opened it up, it had already fallen off, sadly. But that's, that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. 
So the leaf on this one, it has more yellow variegation. The one that came off had a lot of white to it. But I think this looks really pretty. Then we have one here who's more plain. It's much lighter in color than a regular Clarinervium. And then we have one here who's a bit half. So he has the more white variegation on it, which I really, really like. Love yellow too, but there's something about white that is just absolutely striking. So these two are doing peachy keen. So the worst one, which I expected, is the Pappy, Pappy Lilaminum. And that's because obviously she came in very rough and now she's just having a rougher time acclimating as well. Honestly, it's just kind of to be expected with Anthuriums in particular, they're gonna need time to acclimate. All plants really do, but I find some Anthuriums are just more finicky than others. And you can tell the new leaf here, obviously that's dying. I chose not to remove it just to show my boyfriend that every new leaf on an Anthurium that I get dies because he scolded me for taking off a new leaf that had arrived <laughs> another one. And honestly, it's true. Every new leaf that is forming has already kind of came out, has died. Even my Javanini one that was wrapped so well <laughs> still died. So I have no hope. So this one here, who had yet to come out, I think he'll be fine. But if they've already come out, the chance of them living is so low. It's just so much shock to be taken out of soil. I've actually learned if you repot an Ethereum when they have a new leaf coming out and it hasn't hardened off, that it will stop it from hardening as well. So don't repot your Ethereums when a new leaf is growing. And for our last one here, we have our pterodactyl. If I can get her out. It was doing phenomenal as well. This is more, this is the yellow variegation. This leaf, because it was already out and it's already unfurled itself. I found when they've already unfurled that they won't die, but they are stunted in their growth. So they're not really gonna get much bigger than this. Absolutely love the pterodactyl. The shape is just so unique and cute. <laughs> My cute little pterodactyl. Also, I don't think this is the official name of the plant. I was researching it a few weeks ago and I can't, their actual name escapes me at the moment. Not sure where the name pterodactyl came from, but I really like it. I think it's cute because it looks like it has wings and it's very pointy here. Just really beautiful. If you're not a fan of yellow variegation, I understand, but I honestly think this is really pretty. It's not a plant I would have gotten if it didn't have variegation because it's a bit too plain, but honestly, its original characteristics topped with the variegation make it for a very unique plant that I really, really enjoy. Which is absolutely cute. Also, please bear in mind that Anthurium variegation is most likely a lot like the Monstera Albo variegation or the Borsigiana in that it is most likely not stable. So it's just something that I'll have to maintain. I knew this buying it and I'm perfectly fine in finding ways to maintain the beauty of their variegation. And I can't wait till I get a new leaf on this one. I'm gonna baby it to heck and I want it to come back strong. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed seeing all these wonderful anthuriums. I can't thank Song Amazon enough. If, like I said, if I was going to get a variegated plant, particularly an anthurium, it was going to be him and he did not disappoint. I am so happy with these plants. Let me know what you think about these plants in the comments down below. Please give me a like, subscribe if you haven't and you wanna see more content, but thank you so much for watching.